In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get rid of stubborn digital background noise from your vocals. It could be due to your mic or due to cables or any other kind of noise that is just stubborn in the vocals. Without wasting much of your time, let's get into the video. Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Jay. I make music production tutorials on YouTube on mixing and mastering. Consider subscribing and click that post notification bell so that you get notified every single time I upload a brand new video. If you take a look at my mix all the vocals are perfect apart from this one vocal right here this vocal recording has some kind of digital noise that is just messing up everything the noise is consistent in the vocal because it plays throughout the vocal so even if i was to cut from somewhere here and just do that it won't solve the problem because it goes throughout the vocal for those of you that only use Cubase, you pardon me on this one because this kind of noise can easily be removed using FL Studio. What I'll do is make sure that I export only this stem. So just make sure that you highlight everything. If it's all the vocals that have this noise, you can simply export the individual stems of all the vocals. Just make sure that you switch off all the plugins on your vocal channel here. So I've switched them off from right here. If it's linked to a group, make sure you remove it and link it to stereo so that it goes out straight away. Set this to zero, which is the volume. So I set it back to the initial, which is zero. So this is what it sounds like without everything that was being processed here. Modification. I've soloed this, so now export. I'll give it a name something like this. Make sure everything is wave. Let me choose the desktop so that I can easily access this file. So my location for exporting is the desktop and export. Once the export is done, open FL Studio. Then go to your desktop or whichever folder that you saved your file in. So I saved it right here on my desktop. Double click on this, go to edit in audio editor. All right, so I can find a spot where the noise is uh, consistent. So I've got this point right here. I'm simply going to highlight it and make sure that it's only the noise. There's no vocal on that part. Then click this toothbrush button right here. Then go to acquire noise profile. Zoom back out completely. Press Ctrl and A on your keyboard just to highlight everything here and click back on this toothbrush button right here and go to accept. So once you do that, it will start removing the entire noise profile that you selected from the vocal. And once that is done, just zoom back in so that we can test this. Yeah. The vocals sound better at this point then zoom back out completely click this then drag and drop it on top of the vocal sample that's behind here it will replace the initial vocal to the new one now go and export this is my initial vocal right here so i'll just add two so if you take a look at my vocal back in cubase it was in mono so right here i would love to export it back in mono so if your vocals are stereo, you can keep it stereo here. Export. And back in my project, I'm going to drop the vocal down here. And then take it all the way up. The one that we had before, this is the entire noise. And this one, the whole noise is gone. Remove this from this channel and replace it with the new one here. So I'll just reduce the volume a little bit. Switch back on the insets here that I have. Then send it back to my group channel. Alright, so now with a little bit of balance in the volume, I'll take it all the way down just to match the volume to the rest of the files here. So just try to clean it up a little bit by adding some fades and cutting out some of these other spaces. So now if I play this... all right guys thanks a lot for watching if you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a like because it helps the channel grow if you're new to this channel subscribe and click that post notification bell so that you get notified every single time i upload a brand new video follow me on instagram at jdmg and facebook at jdmixgenius see you in my next video peace